Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. This is Abdullah Masmi Shamsri speaking and I will be responsible for making sure that you get the gist of what chromatography is and its affiliation towards the topic of this video. So by definition, chromatography is a technique used to separate the components of a mixture based on the rates at which they are carried through a stationary phase by a gaseous or liquid phase known as the mobile phase. Some of its applications can be found in some of these which are in pharmaceutical industries such as identification of impurities in drugs, environmental monitoring which is very useful when monitoring pesticide residues in food products, forensic science where commonly the analysis of trace evidence at crime scenes are done, in petrochemical industry specifically it is used for the quality control of fuels and lubricants, and last but not least the focus of this video, art conservation and restoration. Alright, so why do we want to focus on art preservation? Well, it helps protect and conserve cultural heritage for future generations. And it is also a bridge connecting the past, the present and the future, ensuring artistic and cultural heritage remains alive as well as relevant. But specifically, art preservation serves its own purpose as we want to protect these concerns. Number one is about the artistic techniques buried in the masterpiece due to many traditional artistic techniques have been perfected over the centuries. By preserving art, we can learn and appreciate these techniques which can also inspire many contemporary artists. Next, art works as a record of progress as art reflects the evolution of human societies, values and progress. Preserving art allows us to see how artistic styles, techniques, and subject matters have changed over time with external and internal factors. What's more important is that we have to take into account the vulnerability of art because many art materials are susceptible to degradation over time due to environmental factors, handling methods, and natural decay. Preservation efforts are crucial to prevent any irreversible damages to the masterpiece. And Probably what is important to some, the retention of the artwork's economic value. Yes, art do have significant economic value, both as an industry and as a cultural asset. Preserving valuable artworks can contribute to the economy through tourism, exhibitions and sales. And also fun fact, in some countries, art is actually five times greater than the value of the agricultural sector of that country which is very surprising to say the least. There are eight types of art preservation. The first one is spectroscopy. Different spectroscopy techniques are employed to identify and characterize the material used in artwork. For example, Fourier transform infrared spectroscopy identifies organic and inorganic compounds by measuring their absorption of infrared light. Second one is Raman spectroscopy. I help identify pigments, minerals, and organic materials based on their unique scattering of laser light. Last one is UV visible spectroscopy. Determines the absorption of ultraviolet and visible light by the material, which aids in pigment identification and dating of paintings. Chromatography. Analytical method like high performance liquid chromatography or gas chromatography mass spectrometry are used to separate and identify organic compounds such as binding media, varnishes or dyes in art object. X-ray imaging and diffraction Techniques like X-ray fluorescence and X-ray diffraction help determine the elemental composition and crystalline structure of material in artwork such as pigment and metal support. Number 4 is Max Spectrometry Mass spectrometry techniques such as time of flight mass spectrometry and secondary ion mass spectrometry are used to analyze organic and inorganic compounds at the molecular level, providing valuable information about the material used in that work. Number 5. Microscopy Various microscopy techniques such as scanning electron microscopy and optical microscopy allow for detailed examination of the surface and cross-section of art object to identify paint layer, surface feature, and deterioration pattern. Number 6. Radiography and Infrared Imaging X-ray and infrared imaging are used to visualize hidden layer, 
under drawing and other conceal feature in painting without physically touching the artwork. Number seven is thermogravimetric analysis. This technique measures changes in mass as a function of temperature and helps in studying the thermal stability and decomposition of materials in artwork. Lastly, number eight, acidity testing. pH testing of materials like paper and parchment is performed to assess their condition and potential for acid-induced degradation. Fifteen layer chromatography TLC is a useful technique in art preservation for analyzing and identifying the component of various material such as pigment, dye, and binder. It can be used to determine the presence of specific compound in an art object. The first procedure is sample preparation of binding as collected. Second, sample extraction. The binding media is extracted from the sample using a suitable solvent, include such as ethanol, methanol, or acetone. Third, filtration. The solvent is the solvent extract is filtered to remove any particulate matter. For TLC plate preparation, the TLC plate is prepared by applying a thin layer of stationary face on a glass. Fifth. Spotting. Spot a small portion of the extracted binding media onto the TLC plate. Six. Development. Place the TLC plate in developing chamber containing a suitable solvent system. High performance liquid chromatography (HPLC) is also the technique to preserve the art. In this technique, a solution first phase is pumped through a column that contains a packing of small porous particles. The first procedure is select the stationary face, choose an appropriate HPL column with a stationary face that suit the separation needs. Second, choose the mobile face, select the mobile face composition based on the analyte properties and the desired separation. Third, optimize the parameter, optimize the HLPC parameter to achieve the desired separation. Fourth, calibration and standard preparation. Prepare calibration standard or reference solution of non concentration for the analyte of interest. Thus, sample preparation. Develop a prepared sample preparation technique to extract, isolate, or concentrate the analyte from the sample matrix. The third the theoretical procedure would be time of flight mass spectrometry, meaning a method of mass spectrometry in which an ion mass to charge ratio is determined by the time of flight measurement. The first procedure would be ionization. In order to create ions, the sample must first be ionized. Second, acceleration. The generated ions are then accelerated by an electrical field, with, where they gain kinetic energy proportional to their mass to charge ratio. Third, flight of measurement. The accelerated ions go through a flight tube, also known as a drift zone, which is typically vacuum filled to reduce air resistance. Each ion journey through the flight tube to the detector at the end time is time. Fourth, mass calculation. The ion's mass and flight time are exactly proportional. Ions are lighter that are lighter will go further and slower than ions that are heavier. Fifth, data analysis. A mass spectrum which depicts the distribution of ions in the sample based on their masses is created once the flight durations are recorded. The fourth theoretical procedure would be secondary ion mass spectrometry, meaning used to characterize the chemical composition of solid surfaces and thin films. First procedure would be primary ion bombardment. A beam of high energy ions, typically composed of oxygen or cesium ions, is directed onto the surface of a sample. The primary ions penetrate the surface, leading to the ejection of secondary ions from the sample's topmost atomic layers, as depicted in the picture below. Sputtering, secondly, is sputtering and ionization. When the primary ions collide with atoms of the same surface, of the sample surface, they transfer energy to these atoms, causing them to become ionized and ejected from the sample. These ejected ions are secondary ions. Third is analysis. The secondary ions are accelerated towards the mass spectrometer, which sorts them based on their mass to charge ratio. The mass spectrometer then detects and quanti quantifies these ions, providing information on their elemental and isotopic composition. Okay, for the result, 
Firstly, Inveling artwork composition in exploring chromatographic and spectrometric techniques. For the chromatographic and spectrometric techniques play a vital role in analysis of molecular content within artworks. As we know, TLC, GC, and LC is the type of chromatography that uh, play a main key method employed for investigating artworks. Recent publication highlight the utilization of LCMC technique, APCI or ESI, to measure amino acid, fatty acids, and chemical dyes in paintings. GC or as we know, gas chromatographic technique, such as fatty acid and amino acid analysis are widely applied for examining the chemical composition of pain sample. Pyrolysis GC is a frequently used method for studying synthetic ricin and varnish in artworks, enabling the separation of volatile byproduct. In term thermal analysis serve as a valuable tool for identifying changes in the, in the chemical makeup of binding mediums and contributes to pain aging studies. In a various method, including chromatography, immunofluorescence, LCMS, and MALDI are recommended for investigating protein present in binder. In assessing pigment, whether organic or inorganic, can be a complex task often necessitating collaboration with art historians or conservator consultant. X-ray fluorescence stand out as an effective technique for the identification of inorganic pigment. For the second result in advancing vehicle pain analysis that unveiling insight through analyt analytical pyrolysis gas chromatography and pattern recognition recognition technique for the analytical pyrolysis gas chromatography pygc has emerged as the industry standard for forensic testing of vehicle pain, offering decades of successful application. For the visual examination of pyrogram, graphical representation of pyrolysis product is a common technique employed to identify automobile automobile pain. However, this visual examination process can be time-consuming and prone to subjectivity. subjectivity. To enhance the efficiency and the objectivity of vehicle pain analysis, a preliminary study was conducted using PYGC mass analysis on 100 sample of five color vehicle paint. Planned testing was performed to identifying the optimal pyrolysis condition for effective discrimination between different paint samples. Two pattern rec recognition technique, principal component analysis, and canonical variable variant analysis were utilized to compare the cluster diverse automotive pain program. In the implementation of pattern recognition method streamlines the analysis of vehicle pain sample by facilitating the understanding of complex data sets with numerous comparison by integrating 
PYGC with pattern recognition techniques, the identification and comparison of vehicle pain can be conducted in a more objective and efficient manner. In my conclusion, what can I conclude for, from all part of this topic? Chromatography is examination is particularly through paper chromatography play, uh, plays a crucial role in evaluating the constituents of pain in the context of art restoration. Paper chromatography enables the separation and differentiation of various components in pain, including pigments and media. The study of pain composition provides a significant insight into the tools and techniques employed by artists facilitating the development of successful restoration approaches. An experiment conducted on July 28, 1958 further demonstrated the application of paper chromatography in analyzing pain ingredient. In understanding the nature of pigment used in artworks, is essential for restoring them while preserving their integrity or originality. In the result of chromatography analysis, assist experts in color matching for retouching and selecting the most appropriate conservation solution. In continuous research and advancements in chromatography analysis technique, contribute to the re reliable pres preservation of cultural artifacts, further advancing the field of art restoration.